to introduce the awards all the way from Love Island, Ian Sterling. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Royal Television Society's 2017 Craft and Design Awards. Yes. The first award is for special effects, and the winners are Real SFX for Sherlock, and they're here to collect the award. Tonight is a great night, really, for, for me to celebrate with my team and tell them how wonderful they are and uh, pick up this award for them. The next graphics award is for trails and packaging and the winners are Rob Heath, John Cryer, Shizuka Hata and Rachel Moore for Film Fear. It's kind of one of the awards to mm. want to win as a, as a designer. There's lots of other ones out there but really the Royal Television Society having this award at, uh, at this, you know, means something particularly nice because it's just full of really probably, you know, the cream of the craft people out there. So that means something very, very nice. Our next three awards are for directing. We start with documentary, factual and non-drama. And the winners are Dan Edge and Laura Mucciola for Last Days of Solitary. Well, it's great recognition by people who really know what they're, they're talking about. Um, so to be recognised for an artist, particularly when an artist has, you know, a craft award, uh, the juries are really people who, who, who care about what we do and who know about what we do and who, uh, who recognise when, um, uh, when something's really tough. I mean, this, this was a tough film to make and I think um, the jury clearly recognised that. And now on to the drama nominations and the winner is Julian Gerald for the witness of the prosecution. Fantastic. Um, bit of a surprise, considering the other two productions were very powerful. And mine was in a completely different style and genre. But yeah, no, great, fantastic. And great for everybody who worked on it. For Design, Craft and Innovation Award. This award, this year, goes to a documentary series that was simply gorgeous to look at, watching it was to marvel at how those images could even exist. The Innovation Award goes to Planet Earth 2. The Innovation Award is what we do. I mean, that's the one thing that we absolutely pride ourselves on. To be recognised by the RTS is just fantastic. I mean, everybody here has contributed, and of course, dozens and dozens of other people back in Bristol. The Natural History Unit, that's what we do, and for the 60th in our 60th year when we've tried to do innovation throughout our entire history to have it finally recognized today is is fantastic this year's judges award goes to a live event that whilst being incredibly complex and ambitious was nevertheless delivered with a flawless brilliance the winner of the judges award are the team responsible for world war one remembered passchendaele nobody will ever know quite how close we were to this not happening. And it quite genuinely is down to these guys here that, that we've won it, so it means an awful lot. The Royal Television Society is a huge bastion of um, the, the very best that is television in this country. It is supporting the young, it is supporting the great and the good, and it has been um, there throughout all of our careers and has supported us so well for generations, and long may it continue. The uh, final award this evening is the Lifetime Achievement Award and this year it deservedly goes to a sound supervisor who for more than 30 years has been at the very top of his game. The Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Tony Revel. Come on up Tony. Fantastic. Just couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. They represent the pinnacle of the, everyone's career in this, in this industry. It's just an outstanding achievement to be even here, let alone winning something like this. Yeah.